Hey, thanks for coming out. Or leaving. Thanks for leaving. <laughs> Cody Pilsner? Is it, uh... All right, well, I'm going to do my set to uh, Lauren and three comedians. You don't have to stay. You can always leave. This is always a... Le this is called... Uh, Noir, noir picketing. Yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to be able to hit their kids. I don't want the. Okay. This my, uh, this is my abacus for counting my laughs or counting my observations. They count for ten. There, this counts for one, and then once I do all ten, then this counts as ten. And then once these are done, this counts for a hundred. Something, something. Something like that. What? I usually don't go past the top three. And then I'll, I'll use the ones at the bottom for jokes or like claps or scoffs or a woo. Yeah, I'll count the woo. I'll count this conversation. I'll say perfect. There's a, a groan from a guy with face paint. Two, two groans. A negative heckle. There's a, hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. Well, Ryle Smith enters the room. I'll count the Ryle Smith. Here's a first laugh from Jason McBride, the specific. I'll do a specific beat for Jason. Comedy. Order up. There's a clap. We'll take the clap. There's a clap. You want this one? Well, this counts as 100, but we can recount it as something. It can be arbitrary. Okay. We'll have an arbitrary bead. A personal request. Personal request bead. Um, you remember Star 69? That's an original callback. That's a callback. You call people back. That's like comedy joke because you call back to 69. You know, uh, time, they say... Uh, they say time uh, heals all wounds, but also time creates all wounds. Yeah, that's uh, you ever go to a, a Five Guys Burgers and there's five guys working? Maybe there's a there's an agreement. We'll do an agreement. A nod, and there's a laugh. There's a second laugh. Third laugh. You want a singer? Cause I have an extra sewing machine. That's the brand singer. Third, fourth laugh. What is the Wi-Fi password? Is it Formula One Racing? Is that it? Maybe. Woo! There's the first woo. What do you say? Um, you ever get like acne on your back, like back knee? You ever get? You ever get a uh, acne on your knee? That's when you get knee knee. You get knee knee, knee knee, knee knee, knee knee, knee knee. Nini. <laughs> Nini. 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 Nunu. <laughs> I got it wrong. I repeated it 11 times and then they got it wrong. No, no. There's a Ryan laugh. There's a beer opening. Seems like the bartender should open the beer. Illegal, I'm calling it in. Hello? Is this the New York police marshal uh, top detective? All of these joke premises are under 24 hour surveillance. And all of these segues for these jokes are in my garage. I own a lot of segues. The guy who invented the segway died falling off a cliff on a segway. <laughs> So another, I think that's Ryan. Yeah, I'm counting my laps or my observations or whatever. That's you missed. This is my first rodeo. This is my second rodeo. I should have a. I if I if I I should have a lasso. Ted Lasso. What do you call expired Nutella? Old Tella? Yeah, that was a sympathy laugh. We'll do half, and I'll bring it back. Then you, they got two. So here's another 20. I think there was one after that. You know, Tom Clancy wrote Rainbow Six, the most violent rainbow book. 
Now on Reading Rainbow, the more you know. I don't know if those are, <laughs> I don't know if those are intertwined. I don't think so. Do you know reverse psychology doesn't work? Yeah, there's an O, I'm gonna take it. I'll take it, I'll take whatever I can get. And I'll put it on a bead. I'm looking for uh, some pot, stickers. I'm looking to get high, high heels. That new weed called high heels, it's like a sativa, it's a body high, it gets me like three inches off the ground, high heels. It's an old joke. Never had a brother, but I could have a push-up bra if I'm doing push-ups, calisthenics. Okay. I'm not a plastic surgeon, but lift, butt lift, okay. I'm not a completely horrible person. Uh, locksmiths are dorky. I want to thank your dad for coming, because then he wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here. It was a, oh, yeah. I, uh, you think cuckoo clocks are going to make a come comeback? R. Kelly is still streaming on, that's a pee joke. That's uh, on Spotify. We'll take a beat back. Oh, wait, that kind of worked. Unfortunately. It's an unfortunate joke. I got some um, sheet music at Costco, but I couldn't use it because it was all in Kirkland time signature. Or right, that one didn't work. So I'll bring a beat back. I'll bring ten, a beat. Well, because you get 4-4 four, four time signature with sheet music. It's like you got to work within the time signature. of. But Kirkland signature is the brand at Costco. Yeah, I'll bring a quarter of... <laughs> I appreciate the explanation. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I'm, it's like an uh, uh, ableist metaphor, falling on deaf ears, you know, something. You know, min minimalism is never enough. I'm unapologetic. I'm sorry. I've been putting telling you off. I've been putting off telling you that I procrastinate My friend went into a tattoo removal clinic to get something off of their chest. The tattoo. <laughs> yeah, here was a nod. When we get a nod, we're not nodding off. There's a learning the currency of the abacus. My name is Robbie, so uh, every every haircut is a bob cut, and. Um, the jazz musician's perspective on a haircut is that it's about the hair that you don't cut that makes the haircut. You ever see somebody, hear somebody say jalapeno, but they say jalapeno? That happens sometimes. I have a joke about Tinder, but it's a camping joke, and it involves kindling and flint with the Tinder that's a... It's a fire joke. It's a fire, that's a fire joke. That's a good expression. I like adding expressions. <clears throat> um, you ever uh, wanna clean your sex toys and you boil the fuck out of them? Yeah, okay, I'll bring a bead back. All right, now I'll bring a bead back. All right, second bead. There it is. There's a clap, there it is. There's a, there it is. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Oh, no, that was, nope, that was, nope. You ever feel, uh, <clears throat> what's the deal with Seinfeld premises? You ever feel like you have a human voice in your mouth? Just me? Was that just, that was for me. That one was for me. That's. Future, I'm, I'm counting the future. 50 years of hip hop. Counting 50 years of hip hop. You ever rewatch Lost and you find yourself when you're rewatching Lost? No? Okay. Can't pull a beat back. Can't, there, that cancels it. You ever swim fully clothed at a nude beach? 
Does that ever happen? You ever tell a masturbation joke that another comedian also tells? So you're sharing a masturbation joke. It's a mutual masturbation <laughs> joke with a comedian. <laughs> you ever see those people with like big round spear necklaces with a, a bunch of connected, it's like an anal bead necklace. You're, you're like, that's that's fashion? That's, what is that, Tur turquoise? Is that, what is that? You ever go to Trader Joe's and you're like, what else is, this is just cauliflower, dried mango, pomegranate, coconut, tilapia, uh, mochi, salted caramel, spinach, habanero chips. This, it's a list joke. That's a, there we go. There's something, there's something here. There's something in here. If I close my eyes, I could tell you, this is a touching joke. These are, tu I'm touching. Is it touching? It's a moment. It's a moment. It's a moment. There's also this. There's this. What does this mean? What is this? Is this even the thing? Is that a thing? Reset. I need a little digitized button. It has a memory. It's remembering I'm touching it. I'm, this is a moving joke. This is a joke about me moving. It's good to be here, I-5 North. I'm on, I know I'm on the freeway. I'm going to hold a gender reveal party and I'm just going to burn down a forest and I'm going to kill somebody with a projectile. Both. The rivers. What? Pollute the rivers. I know, pollute the rivers. All three genders. Prove me wrong. Polyamorous. Polyamorous. Polyamorous genders. The gender fluid. The polluting the river. I wonder if anybody's like killed themselves in a bathtub with a toaster and they were like, I gotta get a four slotted toaster. I gotta get more elements. I gotta get, what's the wattage? It probably doesn't matter. This, it just says, doesn't matter. What's the best kind of post wedding sex? Is it the honeymoon period? Is that? All right, I turned the page. This is for the blind audience members. Did you see that newish movie called Old? It's the new movie called Old. It's a few years old, but it's old. That, do you see that movie that's kind of old now? It's called Old? Do you know what I, I saw it in theaters. It was okay. You see that movie called OK? It's, in, it's not in theaters. It hasn't been made yet. OK. Um, did you hear that the wind is sponsoring a mobile home now? Airstream trailers. My wife doesn't mind when I watch, watch football because at least I'm yelling at something else other than her because I have, we have a domestic disputes. She'd rather watch a baseball game. We went to see a baseball game and she was like, could we sit in the C-section? Because she was pregnant. She was. But we had the baby. We have, we have a healthy child now. It's graduated college. Now it plays baseball and yells at the TV when it watches football. <laughs> no country for old men should be more like no county for old men, am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Let's pull some beads around. Let's do the bead thing. My mom's friend uh, has a smart scale. She like has a scale that's smart and so it remembers her. And uh, and, and so, and then she lost a bunch of weight and a scale didn't recognize her. It was like, guests, you're a guest now. <laughs> Hello, Brandon White and Chloe Lynch. I'm warming up the show for Lauren and Ryan. And what? It wasn't, what? It was what? Oh, it was Andrew? I've, I've been calling you the wrong name for like... We have like this moment here. Oh, okay. You ever run into your ex and they have your kid and they're like, hey, get 100 feet away from us right now. Anybody? What time is it? Is it time for me to leave? Oh, okay. You ever, uh, you're, does anybody in here have a PhD? What's up, Doc? I just need a carrot for that. 
You don't get it? You know when a waiter, you're at a restaurant, and a waiter's like, they get on your level, they're like, hey, uh, you want a burger? Hey, let... I think waiters should be like, hey, you want a burger? Hey, I'm totally chill. I have a... You got a pillow? You want a pillow? They're like, I'm lying in front of you. I wanna, I'm want i gonna lie in front of you. <clears throat> I'm honestly lying in front of you. That's a... Uh, so, oh, you ever throw out your back when you're trying to sprinkle cheese in your mouth? Just me? That one was for me. That's, uh, that was all for me. These are for me. This one's for me. I got this from my stepmom, Susan Lapidai. Susan Herson. She's not married, but I call her my stepmom. She doesn't step on me or anything. She actually, incur she, she, she likes me so much, she supports me and doesn't give me any criticism. So I'm like, I don't need this in my life. Why do I, there's, I need more critiquing, critiquing. There was, this, there was this guy who watched me as a child named Tommy Munger, and we would go on bike rides and eat popsicles. And then we read popsicle jokes to each other. And then, uh, you know, he died later. <laughs> he liked Ween. He liked Ween. I think he went to prison. But uh, I, uh, I delivered pizza for 10 years for Hot Mama's Pizza. And you could say I had a lot of heated exchanges with customers with when I delivered. One time I found a couch on a delivery on Summit and Thomas or Harrison or Belmont. And then I delivered pizzas for the rest of the night with a couch in my hatchback car. It was like the, it was like, like the flaps of the underneath the couch were like tickling, like the dust. I was like, is this, you know, like I go on three deliveries. I'm like, does this have mites in it? Am I, what's going on? Am I covered in, I'm not touching anything. Atoms are actually keeping me hovering above everything. I'm not even in my shoes right now. I mean, my, my socks are in my shoes. One time I put on a bunch of face paint while I was drinking a, a really bad whiskey. And then I, we were all gonna go out and I started dry heaving. And then my friend was like, maybe you shouldn't do this in the future. Never do this again, maybe. And then we went to my job and my manager was like, you should find different friends. And uh, needless to say, I don't have an end to this story, but. <clears throat> But if you do throw up and you want to get uh, throw up everywhere, just do this. I've never done that, but I heard I heard about that one. It's good to be here, the Midwest. I like the Midwest. It's good to be here. It's nice to be here. It's the uh, Midwest. I'm actually just here to meet my online date. Is uh, Stephanie Tippleton here? Is uh, okay. How about same phone? I deleted your number. Who's this? Who's this? How about not friends with no benefits? I live with my mom's ex-husband's grandchildren's parents. My sister. You know, when you divorce a husband, they're your husband. But when you divorce a wife, they're your starter wife. I don't know. There's some. There's nothing there. In alternative comedy, the stool fucks you. You don't fuck the stool. <clears throat> Backfire Moto. This used to be a little shack called Fusebox Moto. I used to pick blackberries between the open mic comedians. Um, that's been that's really that was that was my working material. I had I have some other stuff like where did I leave off last month when I was trying to tell a story and I didn't have enough time to tell a story and I was burning the light and I, I should have left but I didn't leave. 
I heard that love triangles do work, but there has to be a French person involved for some reason. I heard that on VR chat. I heard those. One time I was driving my car and a leaf blew into my car through my window. It's like a reverse leaf blower joke. I think leaf blowers and backpack vacuums have very similar noise levels. Very similar. What's next? Deep fried sushi? You're gonna deep fry sashimi? That's just deep fried fish. Why would you do that to a, a sushi restaurant? Tacos. I was looking for somebody to like shape up the, the sides of my lawn in my, in my front yard. And so I called a tantric gardener to edge my lawn. And I called them and they never showed up. They never came. The tantric gardener never came. There's no, there was no, there was no coming. There was no coming. There was no going. Uh, it's too early for Xmas music. It's too early for Christmas music. I walk into a Walgreens. It's perfectly time. We can do drop off the W. It's Al Greens. This is a Tom Bridgman premise. I can't do this because Tom Bridgman had an Al Green joke with Walgreens. It's a neon sign letter going out. It's a mis. It's a misreading. It's a misread. I'm read, reading. I'm ready to miss. I'm Mrs. Red. I'm red. Red, white, and blue, I blew it. I blew it all over the balloon. I work as a balloon salesman, but I didn't throw, the, I dropped the ball. I dropped the balloon. I'm a, I'm a baboon. I'm mostly a boo-boon. I made a boo-boo. I did a boo-boo and then my mommy and daddy couldn't pick me up and then I had to walk home in the rain and I was like, do you even love me anymore? And they said, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Ba, 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 ba. Sha, 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 Here's your 30 minute back row, but I don't need to make this weird, Robbie. I don't need to make this weird, Robbie. Robbie, make it reared. Rear it, rear it. I'm rear, rearing some weird. I'm weirdly right. I'm right or wrong. I'm, ri I'm ridiculing myself in my head. I'm, I'm going to bed. I'm going to go to bed tonight or tomorrow morning or this morning or tomorrow or yesterday or yesterday for so forced i'm gonna force myself to figure it out i gotta figure it out i gotta can't give up i can't give up i'm giving up it's over it's over it's no more i'm i'm a deliberate i'm deliberately not going to the hospital i'm not going to go to the hospital i'm bringing the hospital to me i'm going to call that service to bring all the nurses and all the king's men to me because i broke my eggshell i'm breaking an eggshell drop it i drop it i drop the eggshell that was the best sex I ever had. Did I do the one about sharing a masturbation joke? Okay. This is my 700th rodeo. And thank you for sitting through my set. Your host for the evening, who's gonna start the real show, the real comedians, the first comedian for the night, will be have to open your chest up, rip open your rib cage, and open your heart for this next comedian. Clancy Casey Judson the 17th from Notre Dame. Give it up! <laughs> 